In this video, we're covering off how to use the WordPress plugin BackWP Up to back up your WordPress website using S3, the Amazon product, as the destination for the backed up folders. So, I've got a website open here. It's my son's website, jackmyatt.co.uk. Shows a few model photographs uh, in a portfolio, and there's a video page and a bit of a blog. There's the video. We'll just um, flick it to show you it's. Uh, running that's that so what we're going to do is nip into the back end which i've got open on this tab here and go to the plugins page and we will click uh, add new and search the plugin that we're going to be using which is back wp up um there it is had it before and it is pretty easy to install and pretty easy to get going here it is um we just click install now are you sure yeah we are so the install process will happen and i won't keep you waiting to watch this happen we'll uh, pick up when it's installed so the plugin is all installed and we just need to click activate to get it working uh, and then we'll just walk through the setup process which is really quite quick and easy here it is back wp up um, and we just need to link it to the Amazon S3 account that we want the backup to sit on uh, and get it all going. So we'll click on the dashboard and you can see we've got no jobs scheduled in here. Uh, this is one of the, when I was searching around the various plugins, there is a pro version that you can upgrade to, but the free version is, um, is pretty good. It allows you, unlike a lot of the other ones, to actually schedule some automated backups, which um, I'll show you how to do in just a few moments. So adding a new job, um, we'll call this one uh, on the general tab, we'll call this a weekly backup rather than the default. And we're going to, I put the day we're going to do it and we'll do it at... Um, 415 should we oh 415 that's uh, in the title so the job is a database backup file backup i'm not going to bother with the wordpress xml uh, i'm going to do installed plugins list um, you can actually optimize the database tables and check them within the same process i'm not going to on this occasion there's um, a choice of different um, compressions to use with little explanations behind each of these question marks you might want to go through or you might want to just save time uh, and take my word for it, the tar -G zip uh, seems to work very nicely. The active name, these percentages, again, you get an explanation of those on this question mark, but essentially it fills in the default uh, year, month, date, and time in the uh, backup name, so that suits me just fine. Where do you want it to be uh, destined for? Well, we're not going to use FTP, we're going to back up to an s3 service so i tick that box if you want the log files to be sent to you uh, in the event with this tick box if there's an error occurring during the execution uh, which seems to be the way that works quite well pop in an email address and this is the from field that will appear that you can edit as well i tend to click save changes on each of these tabs as i move along next tab is schedule this is clearly going to be Mondays um, at 4.15 because I've just shown you. So you just check this box here with WordPress cron and up pops this uh, basic schedule. Um, I'm going to select weekly and go for Monday and 4.15. 4 is the hour, 15 is the minute and click on save changes. The next, I will show you the database backup tab. Um, these if you want to override anything or remove anything out of this backup for any particular reason uh, then you can do uh, no dump file compression save changes just for belt and braces i just find that a good habit to get into uh, the files again you can choose to override any ones of these that you want to um, themes plugins i tend to back up the plugins and not exclude any as well and here you can specify other folders um, to back up from your um, site that you've got that's perhaps not published uh, and then again things that you want to exclude from the backup and we will save changes next there's a detailed tab for your plugins uh, with no compression is what I select here 
and finally to the S3 service tab because we selected that uh, tick box earlier which S3 service well the one that I'm using is the EU uh, Ireland service and you see it's come up with this error message missing access key because I haven't put the access and secret access key in yet so it's a bit quick off the mark there let me cut and paste it in um, into those two boxes first of all the access key from your Amazon s3 you'll have had this when you set the account up if you haven't set one up it's very quick and easy to do so and I certainly can't find any more economical way of storing data than the Amazon s3 system I'm hoping the error message will disappear it has and it's found the s3 bucket for itself um, if you remember bucket is their term for uh, folders um, and we have the drop down arrow so everything that we've created as a bucket on Amazon s3 will drop down as a choice to select from here um, we selected for this backup uh, Jack Myatt backup so let's find it and there it is I just click on it we've selected it the system does allow you to create a new bucket from here but I tried doing that and it didn't work too well so I created the bucket first and I've made a separate video about that it's very quick and easy to do so file deletion covers the number of backups that you're going to keep I uh, go for five and there's a comment here that it overwrites if you don't want to delete any of them put a zero in this box and it will just keep every single backup that you do and that's it for this tab save changes and the weekly backup is now created but if I want to I can actually choose to run that backup straight away to check that it's working so I'll select that and I will show you the log here it is it's not a particularly massive website so it's working pretty quickly uh, and there is the progress of the job and I'll pick up when it's finished and tell you how long it took and the backup is complete with a couple of warnings um, it says job restart due to inactivity for more than five minutes and at the bottom job has been done with warnings in 759 seconds that's a long time in my experience for uh, for a backup for, for a site of this size so I think what's happening there is I'm pretty confident I've got some uh, broadband problems with my connectivity and there's some dropouts occurring which is just causing those couple of error messages but you can have a look through the display of the uh, working log um, which has got uh, everything every step along the way illustrated here and drill into exactly what's going on at what point but with previous backups using back WP up um, it's been much quicker than that but it's done the job is there and if I flip to my s3 management console and go into the um, bucket or the folder for that um, there it is and we will see the backup that we have just created with the date uh, alongside and it's probably good practice for you to with your first one or two of these to actually download that which I'll do right now and then I will check the download just to make sure that all the files are there and for double belt and braces uh, maybe even set up a test site and reload the information into another test website so that's how to add back WP up to your WordPress website and set up a backup job and link it to your Amazon S3 account.